It's about eight o'clock in the morning on Saturday, February 18th, <coughs> 2023. And as you can see, there's frost on the ground. The sun is rapidly melting it though. Um, it did get a little below freezing. I think I woke up and it was 29 degrees outside. So, uh, in the last paddock there, and they didn't quite eat all the grass. There's quite a few places where I saw untouched grass. I don't know if that was laziness or if they were genuinely full or what it was. Let me go to, see I'm having a hard time even finding the line where the last pasture was. You know, partially because there's not a lot of grass here and partially because they didn't quite eat all the grass in the last pasture. So I'm seeing some stalks of grass that are pointed tips, which means they are growing and haven't been nibbled. Here, Let's see if you can see that. You see those pointed tips? They missed that. Well, it could just be because they weren't hyper vigilant about eating the grass, but there's little patches like this too, where it looks like they just missed it outright. Anyway, it's chilly, there's no wind. Uh, so it doesn't feel as cold as it is. I cut back on their rations. Rather than six buckets, I gave them three buckets. So each bucket has about uh, two, two thirds full. If they were full, they'd hold 23 pounds of feed, but they're two thirds full. So uh, it's about 50 pounds of feed total. Um, I don't know that it's gonna make a huge difference, especially because it's only the longhorns that seem to eat it. The other cows just stay away, probably because of the horns, you know, which, Maybe a clue that I need to move on from Longhorns and <coughs> go with a pulled breed or <coughs> get rid of the horns somehow. Anyway, there's some really decent grass here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there's some pretty good grass here. I'm not too concerned about their forage. If I didn't feed them at all, it probably wouldn't make a big difference. Um, the cows are not as skinny as they used to be. And the feed is just a stopgap to get us to spring without losing any cows and without losing too much condition. I don't want them bone thin when they come in the spring, barely able to stand. That would not be good either. So, they seem to be doing all right. Well, this, this one here, number 24, is my worst cow. So, they're doing better than her. But she's not doing completely terribly. Doing a lot better than she used to, i tell you that much. So, she's just munching on grass wherever she can find it. Anyway, yeah, there's not much else to report. Just a beautiful uh, winter morning, warm winter morning, early spring, late winter, who knows. Let's just get a, a view of all of them here before I sign off. Look at that baby calf licking herself. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.